Well, hello everyone. Kevin here. I want to welcome you to this Gobbler's Roost Adventure. Now today, oh, it's it's late in the afternoon and it's rainy and foggy and cool. Uh, perfect weather for what I'm about to do. Uh, I have one more task uh, to fixing up my deer blind for archery season this year. Um, normally, and normally, this, that's why I say this is perfect weather because normally, uh, when I get in to work on my deer blind, I'd rather do it during a rainy period so that oh, I don't leave much scent. Well, today I got my sickle, and we're going to cut some goldenrod uh, to line the inside of my blind and just give me a little bit more added concealment. So it's the last chore I have. Archery season starts in just a few days. Uh, and I'm practicing and getting ready to go. So if you're interested in checking it out, come out along. I think I got enough. Maybe more than enough. The rain has picked up a little bit. It's time to get on in here and do this job. Okay. Always have to watch your footing when you cross the creek. Actually, this creek here was the creek that I couldn't get across on the last day of hunting. I had to turn around and go home. It was just roaring. Look at it now. <laughs> I see deer tracks in the embankment climbing up out of the creek bed. That's good. Turn here.
there's the blind right there. And to give you an idea, look at all of this. Heading right by my blind. Walking, as you can see, I've got a little bit of the golden rod already here. Oh, last bundle. Okay, I think I'm pretty happy. So, now that I'm pretty much done, I'll give you a look at the inside of the blind. I'm gonna, I'm gonna sit right about here. That gives me a shot out in front to that stick where I, I'll, I know I'll build a scrape. I have a shot here towards the trail. And most importantly, I have this shot here. And hopefully this is the shot that I'm gonna get. Hopefully they'll come down the trail that way and stop right about there and give me a shot but only time will tell we'll have to wait and see what happens
There are so many deer tracks in this trail. Let me show you. So, there it is everybody. That is the last thing I had to do in preparation for this year's archery season, which is coming up in just a few days. All I really do need to do now is keep practicing. And hopefully, all my hard work is going to pay off and I'll get a chance at maybe taking a deer this year with my self bow and a stone tipped river cane arrow off the ground. That's my intent. So the next time you see me It'll be the first installment of my Stone Point archery hunt for 2023. Can't wait to see what happens. If you're interested, you're welcome to come along to also. Watch my footing crossing the creek here. I'm Kevin, and I want to thank you for coming along on this Gobbler's Roost Adventure. Oh, look. A woolly bugger. It's the first one I found all season. He's an early one. We'll stick him over here. Uh, get my bow. Oh, my stringer. I've always got to have my stringer. I don't even know how to do it like they do it like that. I remember when I made my uh, first self bow with Gary Davis, as soon as we got it floor tillered, he had me make a stringer, a bow stringer, and he always told me, always use it. And I'll always remember many years later. I was down at the Tennessee Classic interviewing Gary Davis for Primitive Archer Magazine. And I'm asking Gary questions. And then over behind us, all you hear is this big crack. And without even looking up, Gary says, and that's why I always say, use a bowstringer. There was a young man who was working on a, his own self bow, went and did this, and all his work went to naught because he cracked the limb off. Gary didn't even flinch. We continued with the interview. <laughs> now, this is my hunting chair right here, and I've got this all set up. Just how I hope the deer are gonna go. And this is how I've been practicing. I've been practicing like this almost every day. And as you can see, that's a dead deer. Now normally, when I have a deer come in, I get my bow up like this, and I hide behind it until I'm ready. I 
That's another good shot. A little higher than the last one, but. It still would have took out the heart and the lungs. And there it is. That's how I practice. Hopefully, with my fingers crossed, a little bit of luck and a little bit of practice, and I'll get a deer with my stone-pointed arrows and my self-bow this year. Uh, I'm going to try. <laughs>